What we have here is a VF3. Um, was running in great shape. We had one indicator on the screen last week said that we had a low battery warning. And usually uh, our experience has been that these uh, usually they run a few weeks after that first indicator pops on before you run into trouble. Uh, but this one popped up once last week, and then when I started up today, it uh, goes into fault. Let's see if I can turn off. Okay, and the problem is, see right there, there's no model number listed. It should be model VF3. So the machine goes into fault, it has no idea what it's supposed to be. Uh, the motion control version there, so it still has software. Okay. All these alarms are really um, inconsequential at this point because it doesn't even know what kind of machine it is. So you've got a timer here, okay, off in 15 seconds. And if you push any button, it resets that timer. Now what we have to do is we have to get into uh, debug mode. And we can do that by hitting alarm, this alarm message button. Okay. Clear out any text is in the input. And we want to type the word debug. Okay. And when I type the word debug, it just kind of goes in. And then you type in the model that you have. This is a VF3. Okay. And what happens is the machine shuts down and it reboots. Okay, here's my low bo battery voltage. Now it's going to reboot as a VF3. And this happens primarily because of the backup battery uh, inside the main unit is a lithium battery. It's not rechargeable. It's not on a charging circuit. It simply maintains power to the to the memory. So it loses all the parameters. Uh, so backing up your machines is important. Okay. Now this machine I have to call, even though it was unlocked, we own the machine, I still have to call again and probably get it unlocked. Uh, we're gonna run through this in a minute. I'm gonna restore it from the USB. I uh, apologize about the video, but I'm solo. There's no cameraman today. I'm just gonna do it myself. Okay, low air, and I can do all the resets. Okay, it's not gonna get anywhere because of this alarm, but first we have to take care of this battery issue because every time I turn this back on, It's going to, right? Now this is this is here all the time now. All right there again, it forgot its model number. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it back off for a moment because it doesn't do any good. Now, ideally you want to, um, you wanna catch this issue uh, before it causes a problem. So as soon as you get a low battery warning indicator, uh, you want to, go ahead and get that battery replaced. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I sell a replacement battery. It's a, it's not a Haas part. It's, it's uh, something we make and sell. We've got several machines here and we wrote and we have simulators too that we use to teach on and um, they all require these battery replacements. This machine here, this VF3 um, was manufactured in um, 2013, I believe. Let's take a look at the serial number. Uh, yeah, 10 of 13. And today is December 2017. All right. So we got a couple years out of that battery. Like I said, they don't charge. So I'm going to going to open this door. I still have main power on, so you must, must be careful. Um, it's probably a good idea to kill... Okay, the main, <clears throat> make sure there's no lights on here. There's still capacitors uh, in on these boards. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're not touching things we shouldn't be touching. Otherwise we're going to get awoken very, very quickly. Now we've got a couple panels here. Let's see if I can, I can't back up. There's a wall behind me. So I, I'm having a hard time getting a, a full panoramic of this shot. So here's the back of the machine. Here's the door. 
in the back corner here, this is a USB uh, that they use. It should have all the parameters that we need to restore the machine. I have not made another backup of this. So hopefully that'll get us back in shape. <clears throat> Otherwise I may have to call for service, but we're gonna try to avoid that. So this panel down here, uh, this houses a lot of the motion control. These are the motion control boards themselves, the drivers, if you will, for the servos. Uh, this guy up here, this is the main, uh, this is the main PC. Uh, and on this style machine, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull these four knobs off of here. All right. There we go. That's the mama right there. And there's our battery and our battery port. See that white four pin connector? That is an external battery port. And what we're gonna, we're gonna utilize that uh, for our external battery. And we're gonna actually remove that battery off of the main circuit board. That, that one's dead. If we just plug an external battery onto it, it's, it's wired in parallel with the, the onboard battery. And, the onboard battery will try to charge itself from the new battery, which means that they'll both go down to half relatively quickly. It might run for a while, but it's just not a good idea. Uh, let's, let's put a new battery on with a replaceable base. Uh, these are the units that we sell, and uh, we're going to remove that, um, that primary battery, the blue one. Um, so let's, uh, let's get to it.